Hello and welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube and in today's video we have four more Korean mineral sunscreens to try out. So I guess you can say this is like the part two to the Black Girl Tries Korean sunscreens video except this one is all except this one is all mineral and one more down there <laughs> so keep watching. All right, so I'm kind of winding down on my mineral sunscreen uh, reviews for 2020. Um, I have this one that I'm putting out. There is one before this one that I filmed that hasn't been out, would probably be out by the time you watch this on um, some more mineral sunscreens. And I have one more on some affordable ones before I want to do like my, you know, the best that I've tried in 2020 um, video. I kind of want to chill a little bit, you know, like, testing out even though it's just sunscreen um it, it does take some time you know what i mean and you know I just want to chill and then in 2021 you know we will ramp things right back up the mineral sunscreen trials but if you want to know what i have tried so far make sure you check out my mineral sunscreens for dark skin playlist here on youtube and then i have a blog post um that kind of chronicles the best ones i've tried so far but that's a post that gets updated regularly as i try more so make sure you bookmark it but you know check back with it often my bad if we adjust it a little bit i've realized maybe the camera is a little bit too low but first up we have the benton mineral sun sun cream it's an spf 50 plus pa plus 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 um if you want to know a little bit more about the pa rating system i'll leave a link below to something that you can read up on but this is a 100 percent mineral sunscreen it uses non nano zinc which means that um you know the zinc is the bigger particles that sit on top of the skin filters here are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide it also contains um tea tree extract vitamin e sunflower seed extract I'll leave a link to the product so you can get like the full ingredients and all that information as well. Um, now the thing with this, it does have a subtle scent. I did. It's subtle. It's not strong. Some of these have a little bit more of a stronger scent. This one's very subtle. It blends into the skin within seconds, which is great because it's time saving because some mineral sunscreens you just got to be rubbing for days. Um, I would say it has like a natural to satin finish. It's very nice and creamy. I'm reading my notes because, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> um, very nice and creamy. Um, I wouldn't use this in the summer or spring. Um, I would maybe use this more like in a, when it starts to get cold in the fall and, and in the winter time because I did find this to be um, a bit of a, it's light, but it's still very creamy. And I think that would be a little bit too heavy for me in the warmer months but if you have dry skin this might be right up your alley i like how it disappears into the skin relatively quickly the ingredients in the back are in korean um <laughs> but again i will leave a link in the description box so where you can get information on what else is in it but i would say that this one writes really nicely in terms of no ash no cast and you know it felt kind of nice on the skin not for my oily skin when it's warm out, maybe, you know, again, like I mentioned, when it's a little bit colder out, but <laughs> stay in my hand. <laughs> but, you know, not a bad mineral sunscreen. All right, next up, the Creamer Lab Mineral Shield SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. Um, this thing is quite an enigma because I've been trying to find a list of ingredients because I wanted to see what the um, filters were. Um, the filters are titanium and zinc titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Um, I haven't seen anything yet that says what percentage of each, but um, if I find it while I'm editing, I'll link it in the description box. But um, you might not even need to go that far because, ooh, ooh, do not pass go, <laughs> do not click $200. The tint on this is strong. It calms down, thankfully, <laughs> after a few minutes. Um, but this was not as pretty as the packaging look and as elegant as the fonts that they use. Um, it, it has like a nice slip feel to it that makes you think like, wow, this is gonna blend in nicely. The, the cast is it, it, casty. <laughs> if you're lighter than me, of course, you know, this probably won't be as bad. Now, mind you, this is after I've rubbed it in. 
um, you know, on the screen, you'll see me doing like a, you know, putting it on my face. But um, yeah, the the fragrance on this is kind of strong. Um, I, it, go, it doesn't linger, thankfully. Um, I personally don't typically have an issue with fragrance irritating my skin. It, it's mostly that like, I don't want to smell certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like my nose is more sensitive than my skin is. Um, I also felt like this was like, the cream was a little too thick. And then in certain areas, like especially around my hairline, like it was getting caught in my hairline and then it would just leave like a white cast there and it was just like ugh, like it, it was too, it was too much so let me see what else i have here for my notes <laughs> literally i opened up my notes and my first thing was this ain't it <laughs> um i also kind of feel like you have to have the smoothest skin ever <laughs> in order for this to not make you look jacked up because i kind of felt like it 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 it, it emphasizes lines that aren't even there yet. Like maybe it's like telling the future from like 20 years from now, but not my fave. But if for whatever reason you might be interested in, in checking it out and seeing what other ingredients and whatnot, I'll see what I can find and I'll put it in the description box. Oh, and side note, much like a lot of these other products, the um, ingredients and, and things like that in the back are written in Korean and I'm just not quite there yet with, you know, my, my, understanding of the Korean language. Next up, the True Sika Mineral 100 Calming Sun Cream. This one is SPF 50 plus, um, as well as PA 4 plus is much like the other two. Um, this one, it had a very strong scent of tea tree oil. Um, it takes a few seconds for it to blend in, but then, you know, with some mineral sunscreens, you might need to layer, <laughs> you know, do sheer layers until you have enough um, on your face or your body, where have you, um, so that you have enough coverage. But a lot of these mineral sunscreens, if you <laughs> kind of just like glop it on and just blend it in, like you, you're, gonna, you're gonna be sad, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna be mad because that's gonna be a lot, right? So, you know, just do sheer layers until you have enough coverage that makes it blend in a lot better but this one you know thankfully the cast kind of calmed down uh quickly much whew, much better than this one um this one felt amazing on the skin in my notes here i have that it was not extra greasy uh, but it also didn't feel very drying on my skin um it has a natural to satin finish it's very lightweight um, I would say it's nice for oily skin in most temps, but if it's like, if it's summertime, I wouldn't, I, yeah, this wouldn't be my, my first choice. Maybe in like a, you know, like how we've been having uh, moderate fall weather here in New York. Well, I don't know if you don't live in New York, you don't know how we've been having it, but we've been having moderate weather here. I'd say maybe it's been like in the fifties. Um, but when it gets into the 60s, that's hot to me, and this would probably be something that might be a little too heavy for that kind of weather for me with oily skin. But if you have dry skin, you might be worth looking. You know, you wear the right type of moisturizer and your hydrating products underneath, and you might have you a winner. <laughs> so next up, the Aromatica Soothing Aloe Mineral Sunscreen. Much like the others that we talked about in this video, this is an SPF 50 plus and a PA with uh, four pluses. Um, this one, I would say, um, make sure you shake it up a little bit because there's some oils in here that kind of separate from the cream. And if you shake it up, it kind of mixes it up really nicely. Otherwise, you know, sometimes you can apply it and then the cream and the oil separate and it can get a little messy. Um, so just make sure you shake it up a little something, something. It has a subtle scent, almost like clay. Like I know I've had a clay mask that smells very similar to this. There is a bit of a cast, but once you blend it in, it goes away. But again, like with some mineral sunscreens, you know, you might have to go in with sheer layers at first and build it up to you have the right amount of protection because, you know, sometimes just going in and just glopping it on, it's just, your feelings will be hurt. <laughs> um, I did find that this gave a nice natural sheen to the skin, but it's not something that I would want to use in warmer weather, summertime, spring, a random 62 degree day in the fall. Um, I, I feel like it could get a little excessive <laughs> with the, 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 the oils and whatnot on my face in warmer weather for me. Um, but I would definitely say if you have drier skin, this might be something that you may want to look into if all else checks out when you look into it. All right, so if you are looking for more mineral sunscreens for dark skin, 
I got you. I got a whole playlist where you can just watch and watch. And then you know what else you can do? You can watch. <laughs> um, so make sure you check that out. Um, if you're looking for like the best that I've tried so far, there's a blog post. I'll link that in the description box. But that's a blog post that's going to be continually updated. So you know, make sure you bookmark it and check it. You know, check in with it periodically as I try more uh, mineral sunscreens. Have you tried any of these four? What were your thoughts? Leave that below as well. Don't forget to check out my part one video because I tried two other Korean mineral sunscreens in that video, so check that out. And then I've also tried a bunch of other Korean um, sunscreens, some of them that have chemical filters, on my blog. So make sure you check that out as well if you're curious, you wanna look at all the things that I've tried thus far. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box, and I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.